significant synthesis during this open day? Just kind of evaluating yourselves or looking ahead already? Yeah, we, we kind of, Coach Diaz, kinda, we had a defensive meeting today, and we kind of went back and looked at some stuff that we could have did a lot better. I mean, basically, we our focus right now is just tackling. So, I mean, we got to get better at tackle. I mean, we tackle good, but, I mean, we can do a lot of stuff better when it comes to tackling. So, I mean, I feel like right now that's our main emphasis right now, just by week. What can you see in the tackling that y'all could be doing better? It's just being smart, knowing what you got to do. I mean, bringing your, your tackling shoulder up and just running through, not gathering your feet. I mean, and a bunch of this stuff coming from young guys. I mean, I did miss a tackle in the backfield, and, I mean, he told me that made him sad when he see this, when he seen that play. So, I mean, it's just stuff that we know we can do. We just got to keep reminding myself Keep reminding ourselves that we got to do it every play. So. Looking back on your first eight games, how do you kind of assess the way that you're playing out there? I, mean, I feel like I'm playing pretty good. I mean, I still got guys out there that push me. Chris, all of us trying to get to the play first. Chris, Ryan, Nelson, especially when Nick was starting, he get on that grunt. So I mean, we we all kind of feed off each other. So I mean, we all trying to just get to the play first. You talked about Chris. What what has he done that's impressed you this season? I had to say his effort because I mean. You know, he loves to eat, and I just sit here and watch him come in. Some days he'll be 10 pounds overweight, just come ahead and slap there and practice. But, I mean, game time, I mean, he just a different person. So, I mean, I think that he's matured a lot as far as they're taking care of his business. So, I mean, on game day, he's a different person. Do you still Does he still flash a talent? Do you still see the talent that he came here that everyone thought, you know, he was the next big, big thing? Yeah, I mean, this past Saturday they had a uh, he had a gap in hands. He was a three technique and guard pull. We watching the film in the D line meeting room, and I shot off the edge. And I'm thinking I'm finna come catch Chris. And there's no, I, I guess he, to me, I, I kind of want to say he was chasing the quarterback, but it felt like that he seen me and then want me to pass him up, and he just shot past my thing. Who is this? So I mean, he he still kind of flashes at me though sometimes. So I mean, the big boy can roll. Have you seen Tavares take on a larger leadership role with Redmond out? Yeah, I have. And, I mean, he spoke to the team on uh, last Friday about, you know, us having to play every play like it's our last because you never know. Because he said first thing he said to Will Redmond, well, I mean, first thing Will said to him was, I can't believe it's over. So, I mean, I, I feel like he done a great job. And, I mean, we all kind of seen that he was going to have a great game uh, this past weekend because during practice, I mean, I think there was, somebody them caught like one pass on him and there was like an outright or something like that other than that. I mean, he was he was locked down all week last week in practice. So I mean, I, I think he did a great job at that because the young guys see him doing stuff like this. So, I mean, I, I feel like he's picked it up a whole lot. You the, get to go against the offensive line, practice and things. How how difficult, or I say difficult? How much better has that group gotten from the beginning of the year to where they're at now? I feel like a lot better because I mean, we had a couple guys first time starting: Jamal, Rufus. I mean, Justin Malone. He was started last year. Just a senior, he'll start. And Devin Desmond, he started like two games last year. But I mean, I, as far as those guys communicating together, I feel like they've done a whole, like a, a, a great job as a whole. And a big part of that, Coach Haverson, of course. I mean, he, he fussed at them all the time, but I mean, they work. So I, I think they've come a long way. After this last game, you moved into the top 10 in career tackles for losses. Coming in, did you think, you know, did you take a look at any of those records and set any personal goals for yourself, or are you just out there playing? No, I, I didn't. I mean, I, I'm just out there trying to just do what I can do, show what I can do. So, I mean, it, it kind of caught me off guard when Coach Turner said in the meeting room the other day. So, I mean, it's, it's fun, though, to know that I'm, you know, my hard work's on to pay off. What are your thoughts on being named at the preseason Hendricks Award watch list? Or the midseason Hendricks Award watch list? I mean, I heard about it today, and obviously that's, that's a huge honor. I mean, like I said, my hard work's starting to pay off, so... I mean, it's just an honor, and I'm thankful. This past weekend, the sideline had a lot more emotion and a lot more edge to them. Look, you guys are having a lot more fun. What do you attribute that to? Um, I mean, everybody just loves playing football. And, I mean, we got a lot of guys on the sideline with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of characters on the sideline. From my strength coaches, to our coaches to the players, I mean, and, I mean, everybody loves playing football. I mean, the process is going to be hard to get to game day, but once game day gets here, it's, coaches, coaches always tell us, Practice should always be harder than the games. So, I mean, once you get to the game, game easy in the practice. I mean, you out there having fun. You out there flying around. D-line, we ain't got to have a knee braces on. Everybody having a good time. Coach Mother tells us all the time, it's, it's always fun to beat somebody. I mean, you want to have fun, just go out there and just beat somebody physically. Just go out there and beat them. And, I mean, it's always fun doing that. Looking at what y'all have got to face the next, you know, month of kind of final stretch of the season, do you think this bye week's kind of coming at the right time for you guys? Yeah, I think so. It, it has been a long eight games, but I mean, I think it, it, it came right on time because I mean, we got what, 
four ACC games left, and I mean, all of them, Arkansas, obviously they have a big offensive line. They run the run the ball. Alabama, they're going to be Alabama, Missouri. I mean, they got a strong offensive line, so I mean, I, I feel like it came at the right time.